Greetings, royal queens and kings. It's your host, Queen Tulsa. Welcome back to the Queen Tulsa show. I will be your captain tonight. I'll have a co-captain, but you'll have to find out. Stick around and find out who that is. First and foremost, if you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and press that subscribe button down below. If you're already subscribed to the show, set your notifications to all so that you don't miss any of the hot topics and fire content. And go on and press that like button while you're at it. Queens and Kings on the agenda today, we have a serial obsessed lover, gone wrong, of superstar Jackie Wilson, his daughter, Alexis K. Tyler. Her son, X, wants the royalties too, allegedly. We have a lot to get into. Let's get into it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. Um, I did want to share a piece of information with you guys, just so you guys um, know who we're talking about and um, also paying homage to the late Jackie Wilson, rest in peace. This is Jackie Wilson's daughter, Alexis uh, Wilson, Wolf at the time sings Yiddy She Mama, and that's Alexis K. Tyler with her father. So, when we talk about covering the story, we want to cover all the facts. And so, like I said, let's condolences to her and um, let's thank him for his, his legacy, you know. All right, so. We are definitely going to be recognizing a lot of things tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Asani says, hello, everyone. Hit the like button. Thanks. Absolutely. So, and welcome, Sonia. Now, guys, we have a lot to cover tonight. We have to talk about this obsession. And I think that we all, ladies, we've all had a piece of happiness from a man, you know, when it comes to in the bedroom and those encounters, right? And so um, sometimes things go left and sometimes some, some parties uh, don't want to let go. And so tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we have Jamila Briscoe. She's a scorned woman in pain she's been rejected she's been dominated subjected traumatized and at the end of the day no means no when it comes to a man or a woman and this story tonight we are going to be covering is Jamila decided to get involved with Alexis's son. And so her son, he does music, you know, and when we talk about women of a particular age, um, that are, you know, in the rap, you know, in the rap guys. And this young lady, she has an obsession with this lady's son. Now, I want to say there are 
clips um, that I won't be able to show, but I can do the audio and I'll give you guys a voice over on what's going on. So without further ado, let me go ahead and get into the obsession from this lady. She did an artificial insemination. If you guys don't know what that means, it's when someone goes to us i think that you know when they were talking about kenya from the real housewives of atlanta you know the sperm banks and going to purchase you know sperm to have a baby and so when we talk about jamila jamila took every corner that you could possibly think of all right, and let's start here. I want to start here. Um, with this video. And what I'll do is I'll pretty much mute it and I'll read off the text messages because this will kind of explain what is going on. And I feel like the girlfriend or the ex lover of her son, she had a bad case of, of good, good pain. So without further ado, let me go ahead and share my screen and bring this up. And I want to introduce Alexis K. Tyler and what she teaches. Okay. All right. So introducing Alexis K. Tyler, ladies and gentlemen. All right, give me one second, guys, as I pull the commentary up. All up Thank you don't all. Let nobody stand all up in y'all pussy because you might Okay, let me start this over. Standing all up in the ass. Don't let nobody stand all up in y'all pussy because you might have the wrong one do a handstand all in your pussy. And when he standing up in it, he talking to you. Yeah, you gonna stand by me, ain't you, bitch? Yeah, you gonna give me that $500, ain't you? Yeah, you gonna buy me that brand new suit, ain't you, bitch? Ain't you gonna give me that house? Ain't you gonna pay that car, no, ain't you, bitch? Yeah, 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 I'm gonna, yeah, 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 I'm gonna pay, I'm gonna pay, uh, yeah. I told you I wasn't ashamed to support your work. <laughs> I'm up here. No. Are you I, I want to get your feedback. Well, you know, you can never come to an end of talking about uh, spiritual sexuality, vagina power, penis power, testicle power, the power of sex, <laughs> of yeah, however. That's okay, ladies. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, that is Alexis K. Tyler. Give me one second. I'm going to leave out of the studio and I will come right back. I'm lagging on my end and I want you guys to get all the commentary. So give me one second and I'll be right back.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you guys can hear me way better. All right, guys, so this is an exclusive. Um, I would like to um, acknowledge the fact that we are back and we are definitely going to get this story out. Um, so give me one second and I will be bringing up some evidence and also Okay, I'm bringing up some evidence right now. So guys, just bear with me. We do have Alexis K. Tyler um, in the building and I am working on getting her up here so that she'll be able to um, tell her story. Okay, so give me one second and I'm going to work on getting this link to her. So guys, give me one second. Give me one second. Because we stand on the side of right over here. Give me one second. All right, so I will be dropping a link um, and this link will be for Alexis. So she could come up here and share her story because I wanted to let you guys know about this woman, Jamila. She's pretty much been stalking um, this woman's son. She has gotten him arrested. Um, there has been black magic involved. There has been um, calls down to the jailhouse, to the prison, and for, I mean, she's trying to, she's been causing chaos in this woman's son's life. There is videos of her being very submissive, um, golden showers. Um, she was inseminated. She went and bought somebody's um, baby maker. Um, oh, how can I say that? She went and bought the sperm. Shout out to everybody. I'm just an idea from the source of creation. Hi, Norris Tony. And Sonya is definitely in the building. Okay, so give me one second, guys. As I go ahead and finish going through our receipts, and we will have an exclusive from Alexis herself. Okay, so give me one second as I pull the receipts up. I want you guys to know how deranged the woman is. Um... So here, let me go ahead and make sure. Okay, I'm going to cut the music only because I want you guys to hear only the audio. And I'll be giving you guys like a walkthrough of what's going on. So what we see now is Jamila in the shower. Taking a golden shower while the water is going. She's being recorded. She's acting like she is trying to fight it off. Mind you, she's on her knees. And, you know, appears to be, you know, it's given like an amateur... It's given like an amateur type of situation. Okay. Um, YouTube. YouTube. Um, here. Um, 
what is my number? Okay, let me see. Okay, so give me one second. Until sixteen forty six. Okay. Okay, so we're waiting on Alexis to call in. While we're waiting on her to call in, um, so like I told you guys, she um bought sperm to inseminate herself. Um, and she said that Alexis was lying, but I do have the documents here. So give me one second. But as we go through here, I'm going to pull up another video. <clears throat> and I'm assuming that this is after she had inseminated herself because it looks like she has like one of those, those situations where you hold your camera, like a camera holder. I don't know what they're called, but she's like, she, oh my God, her, her shape. Okay. Now she has somebody holding the camera and I guess she's, I don't know what it is that she's doing in this video. I don't know. She was holding something and and talking to the camera. Okay, now on this video right here. That's her, you know, getting the golden shower. She was in the shower, but she was getting the golden shower. And this proves the, you know, the sex tape and the piss in the mouth that Alexis has been telling everybody about. Um, and then I will be sharing Alexis YouTube channel. So you guys can go on her page and check out her community wall because she has put the proof up there for everybody to see that she's being harassed. Give me one second and I will be bringing her channel up. Also, I wanted to point out. I wanted to point out the fact that utilizing or weaponizing 911 services or even harassing someone in prison. Okay, so we have Alexis actually calling in. Hello, Alexis, how are you? I'm okay, but this is not working on my phone. It's not working out. So usually people have me in those apps. Oh, no, you're actually live on the show. We're live. Because I couldn't get in there. You couldn't get um, I was trying to find it, stream you out on my phone. Um, because I really wanted it that uh app, but it's not showing up here. And then trying to, to even download it on my phone. I don't see it as an option. Oh no. So what you do is you just click on the you click on the link and when you get to StreamYard, it'll say, you know, your YouTube or your Facebook. You can sign in with your YouTube channel. And then it'll say, allow access to mic and camera. You will allow it. But once you get backstage, you cut it off. And then I could just bring you up that way to where you don't have to be on camera if you don't want to. I mean, you're beautiful, but, you know, that's your choice. Well, I'm sad. I'm just relaxed. I don't want to be on that. I just wanted my voice. I don't know if there was a way you could just have my voice. Oh, yeah. We have your voice. We're live on the show right now, to be honest. Okay. Okay, just fine. Okay, so gratitude to you and thank you for calling in to the show uh, here at the Queen Tulsa Show. We respect you. I did drop your link in the chat so everybody can follow you. I uh, want to get pay homage and send my condolences to you and your family. Uh, you are the daughter of Jackie Wilson. 
So paying homage and thanking you for taking out the time to speak with us. Thank you. You are so welcome. Now you've been, been harassed online by this young lady, uh, by this older mature woman by the name of Jamila Bisco. Briscoe. I'm not going to say mature, but yes, she's in her forties, around 45 years old. Um, my son had gotten out of prison in 2013 and I was trying to help him get his stuff together, start his life over and get into music. He's very talented. He's a rapper. You can see some of the old videos I did with him, uh, De Niro Red, uh, on YouTube and on my YouTube page. And she first come to me trying to get into my businesses and try to run my websites and says she established websites. I wasn't going to allow that with somebody I don't know. I don't know why, but I've had a lot of problems with black women like to create a lot of problems and drama. And so if it's, if it's someone I don't know, because black women are real messy. I guess maybe women period are, but I know a lot of black women like to get close to you and create a lot of drama and confrontations they really don't like you they pretend to like you just to get close to you to fuck you up oh yeah not to use profanity oh no queen the queen drip this is your show this is your moment well i know how some people feel about it so i want to respect your show if you don't want any profanity on here and um I like, so I just really don't take to them too well. If a stranger just popped out of the blue, trying to get up under me, hang around me. I think she was in Missouri at the time. She was not in Atlanta. I told her, no, I was not interested. Then she goes behind my back, goes after my son, her and another woman that's older than her. She might be older than me that did not like me. And all these people are supposed to see, this is the thing too. All these people are supposed to be witches, do black magic, call demons, be psychic, and tarot readers. All of the women involved in this, because she was with a group of other women that were doing this, they, they do, and I'm also a reader, and a psychic uh, medium and a medical intuitive, as well as make my own hair and skincare products and sing tributes to my father. Each woman targeted me, and I clearly see they wanted to get me out of the way, and saw me as competition for some reason, try to destroy my life and disrupt my life, come in it and use me for clout, use me for promotions, because I was bigger than all of these women that came at me. And they tried to come to me as friends, but I knew they didn't want to be my friend. They did not like me. And then they went behind my back, this lady with this other woman, there's this older woman that's a reader with these dreadlocks in her head. It always wears this camouflage paint and brags about how much black magic power she had. See, you all have to stop letting these people intimidate you and scare you and believe that they God or they the devil or the devil sit on their right hand or God sit on their right hand. Because if they had that much power, these people would be superstars running uh all levels of high spirituality with celebrities, with presidents and music, because even all the presidents, even if you go and look back and you look at Ronald Reagan and his wife, they had a personal astrologer, numerologer, and a psychic to tell them what to do and what moves to make. They even have them on Wall Street secretly playing the numbers, secretly telling them how to invest in stocks. So it's amazing how these people have got so much devil power and the devil do whatever they say and have all they self putting curses on me said I would be dead by 2015. We're in 2023. That's the main tactic of putting a spell on somebody and making it successful to first make the person have a fear of you and they own mind and then they'll start fretting the spell, looking for the spell, looking for causes and circumstances to show that the spell is active in their life and they'll fuck their own self up, believing in the power of another human being that got titties like you, got a breastfeed like you, got the piss have a period of shit just like you every day or they will not live well every day and function. So these are the type of people that were doing this and all these people get scared of them. This lady went behind my back, started trying to court my son and screw my son. And at the time in 2014, 15, my son was like early 20s, just getting out of prison, no nothing. 
about life and trying to start over and learn how to become a productive member of society. So see, this started like, it just started now, this bitch is still trying to harass me and attack me. This started then. So she was in her 30, like 35, 36 years old. My son, 24, 25 years old. She starts to send him messages, send him texts, trying to make plans to sneak behind my back to see him in Atlanta. Coming from, from Missouri, Wisconsin, wherever she's from. And then she calls me and starts to brag about it. Oh, uh, well, I just want to let you know, you know, I'm talking to your son. He liked me. He want me to come down to Atlanta. And see, I knew that was a lie because I was managing him and handling all of his affairs, his videos, his diet, his supplements, um, trying to set up shows for him, letting him learn to be comfortable in front of an audience, building his confidence. I'm in the recording stu studio with him. I do everything for him. So I knew about the women he was screwing. I knew who he liked, who he didn't like, who he wanted more, who he wanted less. So they would be around more, so I'd be around less. Um, if he wanted me to book a hotel, he wanted me to book a flight, he wanted me to book a bus. Then those are the things I would do. So I knew she was lying, trying to come to me as a narcissist and manipulate the situation and try to tear me apart from my child. Like, you think you know your child, but I know something that you don't. And I'm having plans to come down there and screw him. And I just want to get your blessing. I said, you'll never get my blessing because I can hear your voice on the phone. You are psychotic. Idiot. You have mental problems. You have emotional problems. One thing I know that he might not know. I know women. And you're no good. I see you have a sick mental problem. And you have another agenda here. And I want you to stay away from my son and leave my son alone because you won't be fucking him. Like, you're the only one that no magic, bitch. And I guarantee you, you will not get a stronghold in his life. You won't marry him. You won't put your mouth on him. You won't have no cheering by him. So them threats and black magic I'm going to do, they don't mean shit to me. Now, you want to fight, you got one, bitch, because my son, you will not screw. She's telling me she will. She's going to, uh, then these other witches go get on these blog talks. And see, that's another thing I don't like about them, because I'm not a coward like that. I say what I say. You see my face, you hear my voice, you know my name. I don't sneak and diss and throw rocks like old folks say down here and hide your goddamn in hand. They See, now, in 2023, you're not going to be able to find a lot of this stuff. That's why I showed you a few things that are still up, because they erased it. Mm -hmm. They try to make it look like, oh, Alexis is crazy, Alexis is lying, Alexis has a mental problem. See, that's why I showed you what I showed you when I said that this is a sexual deviant here. Yeah. That she, she told my son. And I'll be quiet for a minute and let you tell these people that I'm not crazy. Tell them what you damn saw. Look at her face and look at the face in the, in the picture I sent you. She started texting my son and I asked him what's the fuck going on with this ugly ass bitch. Telling me that calling herself a witch. I said, you're not going to deal with no witch because this lady is a nasty type of black magic witch that do anything eat waves, swallow urine like people that use the bathroom on her, take waves from dogs and animals and do spells. And you know, you can do spells like that. If you don't want me to come back, we'll talk about that kind of thing, because that shit don't scare me. I, I, I grew up around that. And I realized you don't give nobody more power than you have, because you're a female. And every woman has power, and it's the earth. She represents the earth. And a man covers and protects her. So every woman has that science within her vagina. That's why I teach vagina power, spiritual sexuality. So he's telling me that she done told him because we had a top a dog. We had a red nose pit with a real big cage for the dog. Mm -hmm. And he be put in the cage and learned to be trained in there. He put the picture of himself. I don't know if you've seen him. I tried to find it. I couldn't find it. But my son was putting his picture out, and a lot of girls like him. Plus, he's funny, he's charming, he's a good looking kid. Okay. Not so much a kid now. Still doing some time, and he's in his 30s now, early 30s, 34. So a lot of people are attracted to him. And you know, he'd be up there working out and have his dog, beautiful dog. She she starts to text him, and some of those texts are in the video I showed you. That's why I want you to go through it. She starts tells him she wants him, she wants to pay him to come to Atlanta, Georgia, get inside the dog cage and be locked in there, beat on spit on, penetrated in all the holes in her body and her behind. 
and uh, want him to use the bathroom. And I own her. And I say, you, you see what I'm saying to you? You see what I'm talking about? This is filth right here. And you ain't the only one she did it, that, that, that done, done it to her. And, and I'm telling her what she got and what she would do. This is somebody that cannot be trusted. He's got three children by three different men. I already got a two-year-old trying to get you in a bed and got a toddler that she done paid this white man for some sperm to dig it in her ass so she can get herself pregnant with some sperm. And you got all these different children by all these different men and you won't let them, none of them see their daddy. And all of them got mental and emotional problems. You don't let them go to school. You don't educate them. And you don't teach them anything about life. You make them stay stuck in the house. You abuse them and scream at them and blame them for all your problems. And then they came to their daddy. You just went and bought some sperm. Now, I'm going to be quiet for a minute. You tell me, am I lying about anything I have said? Because I sent you the evidence. You can tell the people what you see. Listen, I'm glad that you brought that up because I'm actually bringing up the evidence of the transaction with the sperm being bought and being shipped. Um, so this is, this is it guys. So it was shipped because, you know, she, it had to, it, that's how she got it. So now I'm going to move on over here to the text messages. Uh, so the text messages says, so either it was first or second shipment that did the job. So with the receipt, I just showed you guys, you saw the receipt from FedEx. Now here's the here's the email confirming. It says May 28, 2012. Hello again. Hi, further for Father Four. I'm sadly about to end a cycle and wanted to let you know I am still interested in your donor services for my cycle coming up. I used someone else for this past cycle from Canada, and it turned out to be somewhat expensive. The shipping, that is. So I wanted to know. If you are still available, my fertile period will be coming up the week of June 11. Okay. Now, this is a text message. And you see her email there, right? Her name. Uh huh. Yeah. So let me bring the email back up. Ladies and gentlemen, this is her email. Okay. Now, the text message says she says she was pregnant by my ship semen. She had a whole YouTube video dedicated to her receiving my ship semen, including opening the package, taking the contents out, then going upstairs to masturbate before inseminating with an oral syringe that was included with the shipment. And someone replied, perfect. Yeah, you can show, show the picture to the peoples as well as uh, I got this last night. Because she's making fun of me since I do celebrity readings on Nipsey Hussle and other celebrities that come speak to me and I make their authors I cook for them. And she uh, made fun of me for that last night and said I was a big liar and I was disgusting. So can you please show them since I'm a liar and said I have a mental problem, I got Alzheimer's, something she said, and her fans were kiki and why I did the live today. Tell them what you saw when I showed it because it's her face. Does it look like her to you? It it is her. It's definitely her. Um, very deranged. Look very evil, possessed. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I mean to say the least, because I can't say the I can't show you the graphic videos, but this woman looks disturbed. She looks possessed and very controlling. But am I lying about? You see her sex act, right? And yes. urination. You see yes. urination? And yes. Her, what's in her face and her mouth? Yes. Uh, uh, the D. The D is the D is peeing in her face. And she's trying to act like, oh, stop. And she's she's on her knees. Saggy got the braids or the dreads or whatever this is. Um, definitely on her knees. Okay, see, I needed a witness that she said, and her fans believe whatever she said. She's a good liar. I can give her that. And she said that I was lying. I was so nasty, disgusted that she would 
put me in the big lady. I'll bury you. I'll put you in the ground. You know, you're dealing with. I, I already put a curse. You didn't put no curse on me. No words of form against me shall prosper. You better get ready to deal with the curses you said. You better be told them, bitch. You ain't the only one that can throw them. I, you, you throw it. I caught it and throw it back. And I got to prove for what I'm saying about you. It said she was going to sue me for slander and uh, defamation of character. Well, I hope you're not worried about that because you have the evidence to back up what I have said. You just showed people. You got it in your hand. I would rather, I'm not going to take back that I said because I know it's true and you see it. Absolutely. I, rather, I'm not going to do any more arguing, girl. I'm not going to go back and forth because that's childish. What I'd rather do as a grown woman, I'm standing by what I said because I know that what I said is true. That's her nasty ass up to letting somebody rap back. First, he got his bladder full. I don't know if he got him some goddamn dirty south iced tea or some dirty south lemonade. Because his piss was really yellow and nasty. Look, it looked like a fat nigga. Bent back. Like he ran back, pulled his ass and dick up to get a good grip on it. Skidded it. it then he go up in the air in a circle like an arc and come down in her face. Oh, I just made it. I, I made a way to where um, the people are aware that I do have the evidence. Mm -hmm. they, so what I, I I'd rather her just send her lawyer to send me a subpoena, baby. At this point, I'm tired of it. I'm not gonna argue back and forth no more. Cause see, words don't really prove anything. Like Denzel said in Training Day, it's not what you know, it's what you can prove. So I would rather her just have her attorney, like she threatened to do when she did the video last night to sue me for slander. I'd rather just stand in front of a judge and I will answer when she sends me that subpoena. Whoever loved me can be in Atlanta in the courthouse and whoever loved her and support that shit she's saying can be in the courthouse. I'd rather go back. But this back and forth and you lying, no, you lying, you crazy, no, you no, no, no. This lady has made my life a living hell and my son's life a living hell. For over seven years now, she keeps on doing it. So at this point, I'd rather her go ahead and sue me. And I'm going to wait for the subpoena. And like an adult, I'm going to answer and I'm going to submit every exhibit that I have. I don't know if you saw it on my page where I showed the email she sent me and the email from the Georgia Department of Corrections. This lady is so low down and dirty. They actually said they were doing black magic spells against my son. And back then, you're not really believing that I'm believing God and Jesus and all this shit. Now, I, I don't give a fuck about it. I'm going to fight you the way you fight me. Y'all not going to do nothing else to destroy my life and destroy my son's life. So I'm, I'm, I'm with the magic like they with it. But back then I wasn't, they were bragging on video saying they were doing her, this bitch named Spirit Tree and these other so-called black conscious community witches that wear the neck of their hair and the shea butter and the goddamn it sandals and shit, dirty motherfuckers. And these black women are like that. They act like, oh, peace and hotel, beloved. Those are some of the heaviest ones that do a lot of magic, black magic, and con science. And if you don't protect yourself, you'll be fucked up because they do it in big groups. Like they've attacked me, one individual, uh, in big groups. But like I said, I ain't died in 2015. I didn't die in 2019. I'm here in 2023. And I know that my ancestors protect me and death will come to anybody that try to take my life or take my son's life. They got a hit out on my son right now in prison. And at first she, her and a group of witches, some dirty black bitches from the conscious community was with her bragging that they were going to make him get murdered or that they were going to have him arrested because he did not want to fuck her. He did not want to be with her old, saggy, raggedy looking motherfucking ass. And then he kept asking her, because I know my son do like older women. I don't have a problem with that, but they don't look like that. And he kept asking her, show me a picture of your full body. He showed, he said, you going to come down here and visit me? Show me a picture of your full body. She would never show the picture. 
It was always from the neck up, fat as hell. Looked like a damn art bar by the body, all the way down, fat as hell. Long tits, wide ass, goddamn stomach. Lied about trying to goddamn it, um, what they call that, catfish my son. Like have a different body or not show the rib. I seen this motherfucker fat as a motherfucker. Seen her and how was long. He said, oh no, mama, oh no. I don't even want to play no dominatrix game with her. I don't care how much money she got. I don't even So want Alexis, uh, not to cut you off, but I have your son's video playing. It's the De Niro Red. It's the arrogant one. And the people um, that are watching, they see you in the video because this is you and your son looking at that woman in those videos that you sent me. No, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. He didn't know, girl, she was hiding her body. From the neck down, she was hiding her body because I even wanted to see. And then she privately told me when I somebody seen, I found a bitch. Was, she told me, please don't tell your son because see, I didn't want to tell him because I'm taking some weight loss medicine so I can lose weight and I might get a little surgery. I just didn't say that because I didn't want to be turned off. I was going to surprise him when I see him. And I'm like, what the fuck? And you want me to lie to my son and tell you you talking about coming down here like in a month or two girl she was talking about she was gonna figure out how to lose all that and i said just be yourself don't lie and, and she still wouldn't tell me that we didn't know yes um that was that was the video that i wanted to actually bring up next um actually i'm gonna share it on my community wall but yes um Okay, so your son, do you get it? Okay, so just for the people that want to know, have do you get into his relationships um, as far as like, you know, giving him advice or talking to the ladies and being like the middleman like Mama D? I don't think I'm like that because he was with a girl. He was dating a girl named Blue. At the time that Jamila was trying to get with him, all they were going to do was meet, but she turned into something sexual. I didn't get in a relationship. The girl, I didn't like it, but I didn't say nothing. She had, my son liked children, and they like him, and he's the only child. Yeah. The girl had four children. My son has no children. I did not break it up because when she met me and the way she came to me, she had a sweetness. So I never tried to break them up. I never interfered. And, you know, he'd be at my grandma's house most of the time anyway, because I didn't like people running a lot of traffic in that house. So I, sometimes I would go over there and I met the children. I met her. I loved her. I loved the children. I stayed out of it because why? She I didn't get the same spirit that I got from this lady that she had ulterior motives, three children by different men. You're going to go buy some sperm to get the third. You didn't even need no other child. You're very dysfunctional. I saw this lady had a sight problem. You can look at her eyes and tell this fucker crazy. So I didn't see that. When I looked at the other girl, I saw love. And I liked her. She liked me. And she never disrespect me. And I know she wasn't messing with no different men. She had them son by the had them treated by the same man and the man was abusing her so she pulled away so no i did not intervene in that because i felt like my son was safe and that he was loved this lady jamila then starts searching through his friends reading all the comments finding out blue was his girlfriend started calling the name girl all kind of nappy headed black bitches telling her you just temporary till i get there he's mine you better get the fuck on i'm gonna beat your ass i'm talking about, yeah she started doing things like that that's why and i'm a seer so i know when somebody don't mean my child no good but to break up all of his relationships i never said that and i've never done that Wow. Okay. Um, so when it comes to like, how were you introduced to her? Like what are, what, what's you and Jamila's relationship? I told you, I don't know these people. Like I tell everybody, they started fixating on me and sending me messages, pursuing me, trying to get close to me. Oh, let me build your new website. Oh, let me manage your appointments. Oh, let me show you how to handle your business. And I'm like, bitch, I don't even know you. And for what I see, I don't want to know you. 
because you're sick in the head with a mental problem. I did not know these people. They were not my friends. These people were watching me and fucking fans. They watching me, watching what I do upset. I was bigger than them, had more fans than them, and they trying to figure out how you're going to get close to me and fucking use me and come up off of me. Like I said in the beginning, that's what the fuck happened. I don't hang with bitches no more because they always do shit like this. Every time I turn around, I've had women always try to get, oh, I love you. You're amazing. And then they end up stealing from me or trying to steal. Or you want to get, let me handle your business. Let me handle your computer. Then you get access to my shit. Then you try to jack me up or mess up what I'm doing or steal. So, no, ma'am. I was not friends with these hoes. So, she wanted to be friends with you. I don't and- believe that. Well, she wanted to, well, let's just say she wanted to be friendly to getting your circle to kind of get on the team. And then want to all my business, girl. She knew I wasn't good at websites. So, oh, I I know how to build it. I'll build it. Well, if you build it, that means you have all the passwords. You have all the codes. So you can lock me out at any time. You can steal from me. You can manipulate. And I can tell she's the type of bitch to do that because she didn't have anything successful of her own. You might have skill. Anybody can learn to build a website. Anybody can learn to be IT savvy. If you go to school and you study or you're around people, whatever. But that doesn't mean you want to be my friend. That doesn't mean it's a good investment to let you all into my business and handle my computer and handle the ins and outs of it, know how to backdoor passwords and keys to it and run my emails and shit and know all of my personal business. And she wanted to come over here and hang in. I can move down. I can help you in and out of my house. No, that doesn't mean you want to be my friend. And that doesn't mean you're the ideal person. Everything I see you have done, even with the way your your children, your life is a mess. Your sexual decisions, your mental, emotional decisions are all a mess. And these children are suffering from the actions of your behind. And see, whenever I see that with a woman, I don't care what none of these people say that that's, that's talking to you about me. I mean, I run his bitch. You damn right. It's not business to know. That's why in that video you saw, I wrote, direct, I co-wrote, directed, and produced it with my son. I took him to the studio. I paid for the recordings where he could do whatever he wanted to do to make sure why he was young, 24, 25 years old. Every time I don't give a fuck what these motherfuckers say, man. When I was in, I know how this game go because I know how they try to do me. When I had my TV shows and I tried to go higher up into the game and met these roadblocks because I didn't want to play or be played with or played in or played on. So the first thing they do to them young boys that are very talented, very good looking, they want to get the mother the father, anybody out of the way so they don't own anything. And I taught my son, I own all of mine. I own the trademarks to Alexis K. Tyler for Johnny Power. I own the copyrights to everything I do. I own my hair products, my skin products, all my recipes. Don't nobody be in here making a goddamn thing but me. Because those formulas come out of my head and I know they work for every skin. I use them and other people use them and they come back for more and they give me good reviews. So I'm teaching my son while I'm at the studio with him. I ain't going to pay for your master. We're going to copyright, we're going to trademark and build these brands. These old niggas in the studio, the first thing they want to do is give them a blunt with some drugs or give them some powder and shit and tell them, your mama don't need to come in here no more. <clears throat> and you don't need to focus on ownership like your mama so you need to get your mama out of your motherfucking business. Because if we're going to help you, we will help you, but we will give you free studio time. And I tell him, you know what that means, don't you? And then they told him, you're going to have to give up ownership of real masters. And we will give you a deal. And we will produce your albums. But who owns it? Not him. And we will give you distribution. But your mother can't come to the meeting. So it doesn't matter to me. That video and the songs in it, I, even though he's in prison, nobody can use those. Unless they want smoke from me. Oh, well, because Queen I Drip, Queen Drip, I'm actually... Uh, as we're on the phone and you're talking, I'm playing the video. I'm not using no audio. But I'm letting the people see you is with you with no, this. You can use the audio. I don't care about you using it. I'm just making okay. a point to kind of say I'm like Mama D and all this shit. If I wasn't there, he wouldn't own shit. Right. So I wasn't trying. I, I, I want him to get fucked. I don't want my son to be gay. But if I sense you're the devil and you're trying to get close to me first because they could tell and they are readers, they are seers, they deal with demonology and astrology. So they knew me and my son, was it wasn't no act. We was really fucking close. 
That's my only child. I know it was a son of my whole fucking life. When I was younger, raising him, he was not in hell. And I said, I wasn't going to leave him for fame and fortune and all that shit. I say they knew that my child is the center of my world. And they know my child love and respect me for, before any other bitch. So they know if if, my, if I say you can have that bitch, my son going to go with it. Even if my son go at it because he want to fuck him, I ain't going to say nothing. But he ain't, that's all it's going to be if I tell him. Don't trust that motherfucker. So they trying to get on me and think they're gonna she gonna run that game on me and they're gonna play on me while trying to make take my money and use me to come up. I do this for Lacey K. Tyler, I do that. But you ain't got no track record of doing nothing for nobody else that's about shit and that's really professional. So y'all was gonna come and try to use that, pretend, you see what I'm saying? Get my money, control my businesses, and suck my son. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I want them to have it. I want them to have it. Well, I don't blame you. I mean, when you talk about that industry, I mean, and how they um use our guys as, you know, just pretty much crash dummies, you know, get them up there thinking that they're going to get all that fame and stuff. And, you know, once they're not with it, it's like they take them out. Yeah, but baby, they get them up there. They have them in those sex parties. They see, I was in there. That's why they didn't want me in there. They had the bitches in the dope in the studio. Those mm. management companies, no producers around to get them boys on dope young. They either fucking them they sell, them boys are bisexual, or they got women's in there, or they got transsexuals in there. It's in the studio. You, you ain't got to get no deal to get higher up to get it. They start turning them out so they are more prone to the shit and reply when they want to deal so bad that you see what I'm saying, girl? Yeah. I've seen how it went. They get them on dope. So the boy, the young man, they're going to be talking about, well, I, I want to pay for this before, uh, when we finish, I want the masters. I, I want them, I pay to have them mixed masters and whatever. And then after you give them to me, I want this, I want to pay this in full and this belongs to me. They, they didn't want me there because that's what I, I said, watch me. I was doing this in front of them and I didn't understand why is that so offensive? It's my son's intellectual property and mine because I was on a couple of songs of his. Uh-huh. And he's recording here. You're, you're, you're charging for recording time. We're paying you for the recording time. I'm saying, give it to me. Mm-hmm. Now it belongs to me. Now I'm finna, I'm finna apply for it. I'll put your name on it. That's yours. And what we co-own together, I'm going to put we co-own it. You see, they didn't, they yeah. didn't like that. So they right. wanted him to be a drug. That's that most of them boys be turned out on sex or some type of drug. And they get dependent and they put spells on them. Well, and see, by that time, Alexis, you, you had... You're not talking about no deal. You're not talking about no ownership. Because you just want your dope and you want to be famous and you want to perform. That's the same thing they did to my father. Can you elaborate a little bit more if you're comfortable with that with your father, Jackie Wilson? I don't want to my father's stuff. I mean, they jammed my father up and put him in a coma because my dad didn't want to play the game no more. He was traveling like they still do now. Those artists back then and now, they have to travel and make their money traveling because they don't own their masters. They have 360 deals. They don't own the rights to it. Sure, they're going to make sure Cardi B and all these people do well because they have a 360 deal. So your clothes, your shoes, your makeup, whatever they give you, they're going to make sure it blows because they get a percentage of everything that you do. So they're gonna keep you busy. Once you don't wanna play that game or you wanna restructure or renegotiate it, then you end up, you know, dope real bad, you have fucked up accidents, you're in a mental institute, or you come up dead and then they cash in that multi-million dollar policy. And then my dad didn't wanna play and he was up, they were, he was too trusting. Had my dad on cocaine, heroin, drinking, and he loved pussy. So like most men do, unless they're gay. A bisexual have like these sex parties, these rituals, or spells, magic on him. Basically, set him up. And when he thought that they were paying his taxes at uh, Brunswick Rep. Nat Turner Paul, he trusted this man too much. The man was stealing the money. The, my father was even writing songs, and they were saying, "Oh, well, you don't want to put that in your name because you're going to pay taxes on. Put it in my cousin's name. Put it in my aunt's name. Put it in his son's name that wasn't even born, wasn't even pregnant." Woman wasn't even pregnant and took my father's songs to write, so it took the money. A lot of people have tricked him and played on him like they did with everybody. So he was supposed to show up and testify in 1975. He lived in Atlanta. He left Atlanta to research his career with Dick Clark. And at the time, he also wanted to testify. They told him, let it go. Um, if you let it go, we're going to give you a show in Atlanta, and we're going to start all over, revive your career, 
and the white lady he was with in Atlanta, common law, uh, but he was still legally married to Harlene Harris. She wouldn't divorce him because she was also an industry slut, and she knew what they were going to do to him and was sleeping with his owner of his record label. So he said, I don't want to. I want to testify. They had taken his house, so he didn't pay his taxes, and his record label was promising to pay it. They weren't. They were spending it, putting it in their pocket, pimping my daddy, making him travel and taking his money to travel and making him immediately Western Union the money. He couldn't even give his mother any money. And it was mob on Jewish mob, Italian mob. It still is. So he had to wire all the money. So basically my dad was working for nothing. Like a lot of artists had to travel to make their money until they made it. This man controlled him and he had to wire or they would murder him or his family. It was nothing he could do because my father was in side of those organizations they had them locked in and they will run them and run them give them uppers give them downers by the time my father was in his early 40s and wanted to start over he was worn out they wear them out when they're really young and they keep them busy and i know that pattern so i wasn't gonna let it happen to me and i wasn't gonna let it happen to my son and when i'm trying to tell him he basically let them do it and stop listening to me that's how he got arrested I said I got in trouble because he was running with some producers uh, in that industry listening to them. Stop listening to me because they let him know. If you listen to your mother, first of all, she's not going to come around. We don't want her around. We don't want her in the studio. You're going to have to get away from her, be up under our management. You're not going to own your masters. You're going to do what we tell you to do. All your studio time is free. I said, yeah, and that means everything you record belongs to them. Mm. Don't listen to her. Listen to us. And they got him. I mean, this shit is so deep, man. It, 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 it also deals with all the major street gangs, either their management or their producers or gang members. It's whole clicks of gangs, and they also run the music industry. So there's a very dangerous mafia-style, mafia-ran type industry. Blood in, blood out, and they're going to take your shit. They don't love you and care about you. They're going to pimp you. You don't want to go along with that. You don't want to play that game unless you're really strategic and they really want you and you already got your own labels, your own companies like Nipsey Hussle did, like Sam Cook did. But you see what happened to Sam. You see what happened to Nipsey because it was also gang-related shit and mafia-style shit. Sam Cook was also murdered in California, and it was for the same reason. And found out his wife was dealing with his manager and his music label because Sam wanted to pull away from the Italians and had his own company and include my father in it as well and James Brown and other top artists. Well, you see what they did to Sam Cook. And now you see King Bond, Missy Hustle, uh, Young Dolph, Empire, Gods of Empire, mm -hmm. um, Policy Control, who now sold that company for what three three four hundred million dollars it's like you see it's the same game just a different day and i'm trying to say myself I'm trying to educate him they basically let him know well, when he that shit get your mama the fuck up out of here man because she's she's not going to be included in here and then they send women like this bitch jamila to try to come between me and my son. And the first thing she started talking about, my child 24, 25 years old. She's in her 30s with three children. I was 40 years old talking about trying to take fertility to do that same shit and trying to get a baby by my son. And I wasn't going to let it happen. So the harassment, the defamation of my character, trying to destroy me, saying I had sex with my son, trying to destroy my son. He needs to go to jail or he needs to go to hell. It's like this is how this is when it started, because I wouldn't let them play that game with me. Well, I'm glad you brought that point up because I want to play a clip of Jamila uh, saying, you know, she's going to murder your son. So I'm gonna go ahead and play that clip right quick and then I wanna get your reaction. Public evidence of Jamila Briscoe terrorist threat August 10th, 2018. That was actually today. Um, I'm gonna play it on the TV so we can hear it. For, it's 49 seconds. Let me see. We're really seriously a piece of shit. Please believe that we are working on murdering him. We don't like the narrow. Like him, he thought that he was making himself. 
of him. So she says she's, she's waiting to murder him. Okay, we got that for the record. We got that for the record. Okay. So, what are your thoughts? Um, being that this woman was all into your son, taking golden showers, um, very obsessed, wanting to come around when, um, you know, she tried to pull you into a conversation, as though you know I'm coming to see your son. And trying to pry information from you, and you're like, "Well, he didn't." I'm just saying, he want this too. This is what he want. He want me to come down there. She moved from Missouri to Atlanta and lives right around the corner from my house. That's what she did. She moved down here in 2015. Left her three children with no support, no food stamps, no type of welfare, with her mother that she hated, who was dying of cancer i talked to her mother her mother was a beautiful woman a sweet woman i was so disappointed when i found out she died in 2021 i didn't get to tell her goodbye i used to talk to her after this and i said would you please tell your daughter to leave me alone and leave my son alone she said she has disrespected her mother all her life and she wouldn't listen to her but we ended up being friends because she saw that i wasn't a bad person i, I loved her mother spirit a sweet woman mm -hmm. and she left those three children came down here by herself sleeping in a, 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 a van she was driving, homeless, to be with my son, who did not want her. This girl started stalking when she got here, calling me, playing on my phone, calling my son. He said, I, Mama, you see my son, like I said, in his 20s. She's trying to get him. And then she even told me, I think you need to let my, me and my children come over so you can be a grandmother and get used to them being around. I said, I don't have any grandchildren. They're not my grandchildren, and you're not welcome in my home. I still want you to prove that I had sex with my son. You said you saw in the spirit that I performed oral on my son. That never happened, and it never will, in this life or death or any other life. Until you prove that, and the things you said and call me all kind of bitches and call me my name. My son would never be with you for doing that to me and saying those things to me. I said, don't come around me. Don't bring your children here. She had got moved around the corner. It was really creepy to the point her two white friends she grew up with, Kat and Tiffany, who Tiffany was 12 years old, and she had this girl getting high behind her parents' back and selling her to grown-ass men. The white girl Tiffany, they told me she had done this to the other men's mothers and separated the wedges in between the other men's mothers that she was with. So I'm, I really called the police and they basically said, until she comes on the property, it's not criminal. It's civil at that time. I could get a restraining order. That's all I could do. And so it, it went even deeper than that. She got here and she still lives here on my side of town. Her address is showing up in Stone Mountain. She doesn't live too far from me. I haven't seen her. I'm not going to say she hasn't been over here, but I haven't seen her. And, and it, it, it gets deeper because I heard them talking because they were doing a live show on blog talking on YouTube with the other spirit tree, the other older witch that was putting them up to do this to me, told Jamila to get some dirt out of my yard so that she could do a spell to put me under her feet so that she could watch me lose everything and be homeless and be put out on the street on the ground see that you see what i'm saying here they, they're not just trying to get close to him they were trying to get close to me to get either my clothes my personal information get dirt out of my yard um because you can do a lot of stuff with people's dirt or people underwear or going in their bathroom their toilet they were trying to get close to me to also do nefarious things like that to try to destroy me with black magic but my son was young. He was in his 20s. Oh, he's nothing. He think he missed a big shot. How does child think he missed a big shot? He just got out of prison. He doesn't even know himself yet. He's trying to find himself. He had suffered from PTSD. Do you realize how hard it is for men to be in prison and the stuff they see and the stuff they go through, the stuff they have to deal with and the way they're treated, the way they're spoken to like they pieces of kind of like they're on a slave ship? It's under a modern day slave ship. He was going through a lot of mental and emotional things that I knew about. And I knew he wasn't ready for that. He didn't need that type of woman in his life trying to tear him down and destroy him and use him and pump babies on him. He wasn't even equipped financially to take care of himself. I was taking care of him and handling things for him. All the clothes you see, the videos you see, all them thousands of dollars, I paid for that. I paid for his shit. I paid for my shit. Because he got out, he didn't have nothing. He didn't have no education. 
So just to say you that, that this beautiful young man who basically don't know himself in many ways, he's very childish. Because he went to prison as a teenager. So he gets out in his 20s, but this child, he's like 17, 18, still in the head. And I can see that. And you want to take him and mold him and basically destroy him and pump, dump babies on him so he can't go further in life. And then you say you want him dead. You know how the fuck I feel about that. Any mother that feels that really loves a child that she cared and gave your whole life for your child. That is an unimaginable thought for me. And then they started to, when he got arrested, call the jail, make fun of him, call the DA's office, tape it, and then put it on YouTube, and then laugh about the time he got and the circumstances. And then she, but yet, girl, she was still writing him in prison. Girl, he was in Rockdale County in 2015. He was telling her to leave him alone, and I told her to leave me alone, leave him alone. Do you know she shows up? She finds out where he is. She shows up at the jail thinking that she gonna see him behind my back and defy me and that he wanted her and was gonna take my child. And the sheriff had to escort this motherfucker off the property. Then when she couldn't get him to do that, she then starts to call the jail and tell lies. He's harassing me, he's threatening me. And then they sent us him and he was sent to prison. She then calls the prison trying to go down there behind his back and see him, write him. My son told him, intercept the letters. Don't send no food. Don't send no care package to me. Leave me alone. She then starts to tell the people in charge of the prison that he is calling from prison, threatening her. Now, you know, and everybody got common sense knows that all those calls are recorded. Uh -huh. There was my son never did that shit. Then she set up all these dummy accounts and email accounts. Talking to other inmates, giving them money, telling them my son's name. He talked about you. He want to do this to you, death to you. He said, trying to incite violence to make other people murder him in there. This shit has been a nightmare. So let me ask you this. I'm sorry that you're experiencing it, and I'm sorry for um, your son is going through that. Somebody from the comments wanted to know, why is your son um, locked up? It's public information. He was with his friends. Well, I don't even want to say friends. I don't know all the details of the situation, but I know the one one man that was there when they were involved in illegal activity pulled a gun on my son, and my son fought him. This guy was much taller and bigger, and he could not get the best of my son. So they fighting over the gun. My son fought him back. He had the gun turned on my son. My son turned it back on him and shot him. Then this guy says to the police that it was all my son's fault. My son attacked him, shot him tried to rob him. I'm not gonna go, I already know that that's not completely true what he's saying, but I'm not going to get into all those details around that case. It's public information, but at the same time, like I said, when somebody gives you a report and police ask you what happened to you, and you say, oh, this happened and that happened, they're gonna write it down exactly as you said it. It doesn't mean that those are the facts. It doesn't mean that that is true. Because my son has other documents that he showed me, he was telling me about the other day, where another lady testified, but the police covered it up, that they saw this man diving, laying on top of my son, trying to kill my son. So they fought back and forth, but he told the police he was innocent. He didn't do anything. It was all my son attacking him and trying to rob him. But they were all at the illegal meeting together. This was not an innocent bystander or victim that they picked up and robbed. That's not what happened. But that's what he's charged with. Okay. Um, so when we talking about spirits, like what? Can you like like what type of spirit is that on that woman uh, that wants to? Huh? I, I would say it was one. She calls demons. When people deal with spirits, they don't usually call one. Now everybody's born with spirits on them from their family and their bloodline. That's separate. Those are your ancestral spirits that protect you, or some of them could be negative and disagreeable ones, depending on how they live or how they might feel about you. So it depends on what she, she brags about calling demons. So that's what she deals with, groups of demons. It's not just one. I, I can see it all. I recognize them. I deal with demons as well. That's why I'm not scared of that shit. It don't mean nothing to me. They come in here and speak to me as well. So I can see very clearly what she is because my mother is highly demonic and crazy. 
and what caused them. We grew. I grew up seeing them walking around the house. I can see spirits, angels and demons. So I guess she thought that would make me shake, honey. I'm from the south. That 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 who do shit is from the south all day. That don't mean shit to me. So when you call them or they come around you naturally based on your bloodline, it be different groups. It's not just one. And even if it's one main one that you cause a certain thing, sure that main one for that particular area, that demon, one particular one that you like, male or female, but they always depend on if it's a, let's say it's a general or lieutenant. So if it's a general, then it will have lesions. So you will deal with groups underneath that will also do your bidding. So I can see that on her. I'm like, oh, okay, I recognize you. And no, you ain't dominating me. And you ain't dominating my house. And you ain't dominating my son, bitch. I know what it is. And I know it when I see it. And I know their names. And you ain't finna cast no spell on me and fuck me up. Now, if you do something to him, it's because he won't listen to me. And he goes from under my protection. But you're not finna do the shit to me. Because I can see it. And I can hear them speaking. I remember talking to her one time. She told me to do a reading and a healing session for her. I said, about two or three demons in your house. You want me to exercise them? She said, no, they're my friends. They help me and protect me. That got that little bit right there. Wow. Well, I want to say this. I appreciate your parenting and being a role model. I mean, when you talk about the not only your Jackie Wilson's daughter, but you had... You still have the Alexis K. Tyler show, Vagina Power. And I remember the show when it was you and your mom. Um, I really appreciate you and what you put into the community, uh, your philanthropist. I mean, you have so much going on, even through um, this uh, these shenanigans, I'll call them, that the that the lady is trying to put up against you. Can you talk about, um, you know, what you're working on right now currently? Um, I know that you have like the moonshine drinks. Um, oh, you <laughs> I'm going to have to, um, I, I wish I had one tonight, but you know. <laughs> if you're here, you can. You can set up to my dad and come by and have it ready for you. <laughs> oh, so I'm not in Georgia. I'm in Oklahoma. Oh, okay. Yeah. I just had to get a Georgia number, but no, seriously. Tell the people what you have going on because what I like about you and I think what is um, very needed right now is a conversation and class about mother and daughter trauma. And well, the- let me know when you want me to come back and I will come back. Yeah, that's the vagina power fights, the original vagina power fights with the mother attacking the daughter. That's the supreme narcissist. Oh, there's so many levels that, you know, I still study every day and I spend time working on me Mm -hmm. um, because I have a lot of healing to do. And see, that's why I'm unfortunately, like you said, I'm having to deal with this eight years later, but it ties into the creations that I create. Why? Well, for being an abused little girl, an abandoned little girl, and then growing up with so many years, my mother treating me that way. That's why I had to get her off of the show. I was always told that I was invaluable, and what I thought about was dumb and stupid, and it wasn't worth anything. And I, my mother and all the other women, they're smarter, they're brighter. Unless they pick you to be the daughter, the niece, whatever, then you're not shit, and you're dumb. So I didn't have a voice. So when I feel wronged or my child is wrong, or I feel like anybody else is wrong and mm-hmm. I, I can speak out and do something about it. I use my voice now. There's no, nobody else is going to slap me or beat me up uh, or stop me from speaking out when or saying out when you step on my motherfucking toe. So especially when it's unjust, it's my life. It's my son's life. And I'm minding my own business when you're bothering nobody. And you, girl, it's so sad that some people want your life so bad and so jealous of your life. And you feel like, what the fuck they jealous of? I don't, I don't, I'm not going to even have what I want to have. I'm not even where I wanted to be. I've had to fight and struggle to get where I am to even, I could just stand in my power and be comfortable as an individual and stand in my body and be comfortable in my own skin. That's the only way you can move forward and accomplish things. So speaking out, people say, oh, why are you speaking out? Why don't you leave that alone, that dumb shit? Why do you know how waste your time? No, like I said, at this point, I'm not going to argue anymore. I want a subpoena. 
especially when I have, I'm not going to back down. I'm not going to take back anything I said. And I know that what I said is true. And I got all these emails. I got all these documents to prove this lady's done everything. Now I'm going to do what a grown woman does. I'm just going to prepare. I'm learning my rights. And I wait for the subpoena. Other than that, uh, and then work on my businesses. I have a hair care line. I have a skincare line. I'm a medical intuitive. I have a furniture line. I don't see if you. I don't know if you've seen the furniture. I the do. Stools. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. So I basically stay busy, and I'm creating a whole another higher level of hair and skin care product, more a a pharmaceutical level where things work better, things to make your hair grow back, things that the hair you have keep that on your head. To stop that from falling out while new hair is growing where your hair has fallen out. To restore the skin, stretch marks, uneven skin, saggy breath, saggy face, um, dark hands, dark knuckles, dark knees, dark booty cheeks, black neck, black circles above the eyes. I know how to reverse all of that and reverse the aging process. So those are the things that I work on, but I had to get my mind right and heal me and even believe in the fact that I could do that. I could be that when everybody around me that I love and looked up to said, you're a stupid bitch. You can't do this. You can't have that. This person can have it, but not you. This one was better. That was not this, that, whatever. And this is me being alone and really, really coming to terms with me and accepting my life. And all the things I wanted to do as a little girl that everybody said you cannot do. And my own mother said you cannot do. Now I'm bonding with that little girl. Healing her. Rising from the wounds of the mother. With the mother-daughter drama. Because I don't listen to her. She means nothing to me. She's nobody. Because if you got a mother like that, or a man like that, a friend like that, anybody around you like that, you will always be a loser listening to what the fuck they say. And everything they say is always about what you can't do or what you can't be. But look at me and who I am and what I do and what I'm about. But you're not that and you will never be that because I'm this. Get the fuck out of here. And those are the things I teach. When somebody tries to kill your mind and kill your dreams, it's your own birth mother, the bitch don't mean you no good. So those are the things I work on. Mental, emotional, spiritually, healing the wounded child within you, standing in vagina power. Because that's the only way that you'll be able to walk on the path alone. Love yourself, encourage yourself, want yourself, own yourself, fall in love with yourself, and so looking for some nigga, somebody else to do it. Then you can make all of your dreams come true. I'm actually showing your channel um, with the moonshine drinks. Um, Sonya says she subbed to your channel. We're going to definitely have, you're legendary. You guys, <laughs> like, you don't know this, this beautiful queen is legendary. Um, make sure you all, we got your cash shop um, pinned right here at the top of the show. Yeah. Make sure you show this queen some love. Um, I'm the younger generation, and she's definitely doing what I've been asking. Where are where's the where's the older generation or older than us that's supposed to be out here giving us the knowledge and giving us the tools that we need to make it through life and be better people? You know. But look at how they've treated me. You see what I'm saying? I see why a lot of these other women are not around. They focusing on saving themselves. They still have a lot of hurt and unresolved conflict within themselves when nobody saved them, nobody helped them. And then you see, every time I try to give back and deal with younger women, you see how they target me and always try to destroy me. I'm, I'm tired of it. Well, it's, it's like, not going to happen. It stops here because you have a team of, of sisters. Well, you know, me and my sisters over here on my, on my, on my team, we support you. I can truly say for me, what you, can I tell you what you did for me? What? Can I tell you what you did <laughs> for me? You woke up something up in my ass. And you and I said, you know what? I gotta check myself. And this 
I'm walking in my power and whatever they told me I couldn't do and, and this, that, and the third, and everybody was against me and, you know, the stuff that I've seen or I've confessed or things have come to pass, I'm not crazy. No. You helped me find me. You helped me find my confidence. You you helped me know that it's okay to feel those ways about certain aspects of life growing up, talking to them head on and really setting my boundaries and my non-negotiables. And you know what, I, I, I just, I don't have anybody really do it. I have a couple of people that I trust. Uh, a couple of students are very close to me, young women that are very, very successful at what they do. I'm very strong and focused and they do what I tell them to do and they don't argue and fight with me. Get Napoleon Hill and it's right there for free on YouTube. Think and Grow Rich and the Mastermind Principle. Because that mastermind principle, you can call down ascended masters of your choice to have your meeting with them every day or it could be a certain amount of times every week. And you can have a mastermind group, a thinking grow rich group, as well as the 48 laws of power. You you want to learn that because that way you can create all of your wealth. It's fine, of course, to take the classes and to read. Yes, have your own library at home or to take classes somewhere else from somebody else. But at the same time, you learn through that principle of the mastermind principle and thinking grow rich by Napoleon Hill. You can watch it when you're cleaning up or when you let on go to sleep. Um, they have the lectures with, they sell these old lectures, him talking, this older white man. Okay. And you don't limit yourself by race or any of that because knowledge is infinite and it doesn't come in just a particular package. So you take it wherever it's coming to you. And you want to start maintaining, grounding yourself, focusing the intentions. Those are things I teach because that way you have your own school, your own infinite university within your house. Yes. Uh, Starting to study, yes, Napoleon Hill and the Mastermind. You can go, it's on YouTube. I'm talking the Mastermind Principle. Okay. You can learn about those things and manifest. You can be whatever you want to be. Well, listen. Um, I want to tell the people about your classes when you offer them. Uh, plug your email or your um your website wherever they can get any of their needs. I know Sonya says. I need some strawberry moonshine. Then she's. <laughs> this the thing is, I can't mail it. You know, there are different licenses and procedures. Oh, darn. I could, you know, in Atlanta, I, I haven't got to that level yet with the store shipping. I'm sorry. Well, listen, I, my baby sister is due to have a baby. So I might be in town, maybe not in May. <laughs> yes. So um, sometime this year, I'll be there. And yes, I definitely want to pour into you, um, give you definitely the credit for, um, you are the reason I am where I am right now on YouTube, your Thank videos, you. no, seriously, your videos. And it's all about paying homage. I've watched you, um, be so real and it's like, oh my gosh. And you, I was like, darn, we kind of look related, you know? <laughs> you never know. It's like I, sometimes I get so embarrassed when I share, I'm so raw, but then the younger women love it. When I am I show my feelings, I cry. If I'm angry, I show it if I'm out sad and I cry. I start crying and I'm just, oh God, like I sound like such a wimp. And people are like, no, because we thought it was just us. Right. And when you're saying this happened to me and that happened to me and Alexis, oh, I get so tired of it sometimes. You're just so strong and you're just so resilient and you just come back. And I'm like, this don't feel strong all the time. Right. <laughs> I mean, even the strong, even the strong ones need to be checked on. And I definitely, yeah. I definitely want to do that for you. I definitely want to push your content. Um, over here. And I definitely want to let people know to come over and check out your videos. When I tell you, you, you brought a light back into my light, my life. Don't stop. Please don't stop. And when you go away, um, sometimes I'm not able to financially like, you know, send a sister something, but when I do, you know, I, I take care of you. But when you go away, I get 
girl is kind of like it's kind of like we in a relationship <laughs> with everybody that loves me and supports me and check on me but not, it's, there's not anything I could do about it or I was dealing with him yeah. and my age so dirty I talked about that last year he literally tried to put me out on the street and yeah. then I suffered from having so much mold the mold here. yeah got it checked it, it was here all this time I didn't even know I'm literally being poisoned and not even know that that it's here so there are things yeah with my life and my health I have to put back together and I always say I'm a late bloomer so I have to, I'm learning these things later in life. Why? Because I gave to everybody. I mm -hmm. didn't demand people give back. I just gave, gave, gave. And I thought if you give it, it'll come back to you. And that's not it. I was taught to be selfless and that your life doesn't have any value. These are how these women around me and my mother taught, but their life, they were supreme narcissists. Their life came first, but they'll say your life is secondary, and they get everything they want, and you give everything away. Your power, your sex, your love, your your strength, and you end up breaking down. That's why you see a lot of women, as they've been in marriages for a long time, you're like, oh my God, they have the perfect house and money, and her husband's so fine, and their children are so gorgeous, and then all of a sudden, one shoots the other. And they'll commit suicide, murder suicide, or one leaves. They have a divorce, like I'm out of here. Or they have an extreme nervous breakdown. It's usually the woman. And that lets you know if she had a breakdown now, there's been a lot of hell this lady done caught that you don't know about for years. And the body can't take it because you've been taught to give all of your power away. So I'm glad anyway I can help encourage you. I want to see, I love to see women be great. Even though people never, never wanted it for me. I love to see it. I hope you go wherever you want to go, as high as you want to go. And even if you thank me for it, that's another reason I'll be in love with whatever you do even more, just to know I helped you make that happen. Yes. And I want, I definitely got to have you back on the show so okay. you can teach these women um, okay. about, you know, the power that 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 they withhold within. Yeah. And so give us your um, give us your website. AlexisKTyler.com. I mean, I have a download section. Some of the downloads are like nine ninety nine. Unless they're getting into the heavier power where we are channeling the energy from uh the chakras and activating them but it's a whole bunch over there that are like nine nine eight nine at the lakes of i'm like you're not teaching their classes right now they're too draining i'm still healing and then like i'm saying all the other stuff i got going on the furniture the skincare lines i'm so excited i don't know if you yes. saw pictures of it but i have a 24k gold cream well really well i was actually um i'm actually the one that's on hold for my cream for my oh, face cream you? Yes. <laughs> okay, I got to give you a refund then. No, 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 no. I didn't pay any or anything yet. No, no, no. No, you. Di I didn't pay or anything. Um, you just told me when you're back up and running that you would let me know. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I don't have the computer here yet. I don't have the internet, and I don't because it's so much more expensive to ship it individually. I need to right. set up an account with someone or fed, uh, FedEx or post office. It, my my shipping will be cheaper and I don't have to leave the house. Mm -hmm. They can come here. But I, I yeah, I gotta be stronger and because it's too much to try to make it here. So I, I might end up having someone to um you know handle it for me. It's just too much on yeah. my one body. And you know what? Send in love and light and you're not down you are up you okay. are up you are you have you know the power you have the strength you have the wisdom you have this sister right me i love you Thank i you. care I you. about you and we are going to see um the revamped alexis k tyler that's what i'm working on and that's i'm so proud of the new formulas and the gold cream, when you get it, it will be even better because it's also a jewel elixir and a caviar elixir. I made sure that I put the best crystals in it um, 
and you can wear those crystals too on your body, it will be activated with my cream. So I said, you have amethyst, uh, you have emerald, you have diamond. Do you realize I have those extracts now in those creams? Oh, wow. Because yeah. I know you are you have that gold, okay? <laughs> she lo Listen, guys, if you love gold, you're spoiled. She definitely spoils everybody that she takes care of. Um, yes. Spiritually, too, you said I have on Nipsey's altar the blue and the gold. Yes, 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 yes. And actually, can you thank him for me? Because I know I took away some of his time. Oh, they don't mind when it's somebody that really cares about me. Okay. Yes. I'm glad <laughs> you I'm glad you know and you feel that. Trust me. Because I'm just a sister out here trying, I'm about women empowerment. I don't like arguing with my sisters. I want us to come together. They fail to realize that we come together stronger in numbers. United we stand, divided we fall. We're not going to. We need to find the right ones to do it because everybody's not going to. Everybody's do it. not on that. Everybody's not. Everybody's not woke. They're like fake woke and they're evil Thank woke. You. you know. Thank you. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's a pain of mine uh, because it's been my whole life. My mother's even like that. My family members, they don't have anything to do with me. All the women are like that and messy like that. And I, I'm just now accepting it. Mm -hmm. Well, oh, you know I what? I'm going to tell you like this. I'm going to share a story. Now, no, but I, I got a business call. I got to take oh, right now. Okay. This call, baby. But I will come back whenever you want me to. Okay, thank you so much for gracing us. You can use the audio, the video from any of my music. I'm giving permission. I don't care about it. Thank you so much. Greetings and gratitude. And I look forward to speaking with you soon. Yeah, send me the link so I can share it with everybody. I think I shared it on my page, but I'm not sure if it's the same show so I can let people know who you are. Okay, absolutely. Okay, bye. Okay, bye bye. Oh my gosh. Do y'all know? Who that was? Do y'all know? Do y'all know? When I tell you I manifested, um, I mean, this woman gave me, oh my gosh, she poured, she, she woke me up. This woman woke me back. She, I don't know what dream or, um, what I was going through, but something drew me to her. And I remember it was, um, I had watched her show Vagina Power and it was her and her mom. And then it was like even further back, further back, further back. Um, videos of like her being out to eat. And I was like, oh my God, it is something about this woman. I said, she is so smart and When she went to talking about experiences and um, just life in general and, you know, like she said on here, how people talk to her, you know, within her family, the, um, you know, the kind of distance between the mother and the daughter. And so some of those things resonated with me. And when you talk about a crazy woman you know, trying to trap a man and doing all this crazy stuff. Me and my daddy, we talked tonight. And me and him, actually, I brought up the fact that he had two, like, majority of his women were crazy. And I was like, well, you know, I'm kind of excited for the lady that he has now. I mean, we don't interact, but she's not rude or disrespectful. She doesn't call, she doesn't hound you or blow up your phone and stuff like that. <gasps> Y'all, I'm so overjoyed right now. I'm starting to lose my voice. I want to say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, higher power. Guys, I don't know if I can even keep going because Right now, I'm just so overjoyed. I did put Alexis K. Tyler's channel in the ch in the chat, 
please go over, give her a subscribe. Um, check out her videos. You will definitely learn something. You will definitely be awakened. It's just, you know, I don't even know where to go from there. God is good. The universe is definitely working. On that note, I want to thank you all for coming by. Hopefully I get my voice back. Until next time, so long, greetings, and gratitude. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Right, guys so if you didn't already um send a love offering to queen drip king nip that is alexis's um cash app and my cash app is beautiful 070707 if you feel it in your spirit if you want to just be generous that would be amazing but i want to thank everybody for coming out um for the like the views um everything. Thanks for giving me a chance to break the story and also bring to you guys a powerful woman that can teach you about womanhood. There are certain things that I can converse about, but I can definitely count on Alexis K. Tyler to pick up where I just cannot relate. Um, once again, have a great night and always remember Something wonderful can happen despite what goes on in. Always encourage yourself, believe in yourself, never give up on your dreams, and anything is possible.